Hi, welcome to part four of creating a Drupal 7 theme. Um, in this part of the tutorial, we're going to look at creating a page.tpl.php page. Now, to get started, um, what we need to do is create a new PHP page. You can create this in whichever software you like. So I'm going to click on PHP. Now, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to delete all of this in the page. Thank you. And I'm going to start by typing out the different regions in my website. Now I'm using HTML5, so to get started I'll start with creating a div ID page wrapper. Now the first thing I'd actually like to have is an area where I can display my logo and my navigation bar side by side. So I'm going to create a new div, I'm going to call it div ID and I'm going to call it top. Within top I'm going to have an area for my logo and I'm also going to have an area for my navigation so I'm going to use nav in this section here. Okay, So that's the top part of my website. Now I'm just going to indent this because it's easier to read. So we'll start off with that at the very top of the website. Now after that I'm actually going to have a slideshow. Okay. Now if you like you can actually, we might just change this so it says header because technically that's everything that's going to be in the header. Okay, So I've got an area to display my logo, navigation, both of those are in the header. Then I've got a new div and I'm going to call this one slideshow because under the header I actually want to display a series of images um, which keep fading in and out. Slideshow, next section is going to be article because that's where my content is going to appear and the very last one, so I'm just doing a really basic mock-up of a site and that's it, that's what my website's going to look like. Now once you've got the semantic structure of your website, you can go ahead and save it and we're going to go save as and we're saving it inside your theme, so Petricor templates and I'm going to save it as page.tpl.php. Okay. Now once you've done this we can start filling it up with PHP content. Now I don't actually have um, this HTML opening and closing tags, the body tags, head or title because we actually refer to those in our original html.tplphp page. Now I've prepared a document here which goes through the different PHP scripts I can actually add into this page. Now if I'm referring to region that I created in the .info file, I actually need to put in a sentence similar to this. But what I would change is where it says content, I would put in the region name. That's basically what we have to print out into our page tpl.php page for each region. So we'll start with doing that. So I'm going to copy that. Okay. Now logo, I'm not going to bother with that yet and I'm not going to bother with the main nav either because we've got some other script we're going to use there. But for slideshow, now because I'm copying and pasting you have to make sure I change the quotation marks. Now slideshow is called slideshow. Now just in case if you are getting confused um, with what I'm doing, I'm just going to show you the dot .info page I created last last time. Okay, now in here I've got a header, slideshow, content, main menu and footer. At the moment I'm referring to slideshow. Okay, so I've just typed that in there. So I've got print, render, page, slideshow within my div ID slideshow tags. Now the next thing I need to do is print out content as well. So I'm just going to copy and paste this one and paste that within the article and this will just say that all the content for the pages has to be displayed between the two article tags. And we'll do one for the footer as well. Okay. Now I'm going to do one for header and just print that out there. Um, we've also got here page top and page bottom so I'm going to put one here for page top and one just before the closing down. Okay, now I've got my PHP script in there. All of these ones are referring to the regions that I've specified in the .info sheet. I'm missing main menu, but that doesn't matter for the moment because I'm actually going to copy and paste a different script I've got. 
Okay, now logo, I'm not going to worry about that either. So save. Jumping back into this handout, I'm just going to show you why I wasn't going to worry about logo. Now here I've got the script I'm going to use for the logo. Now it's basically saying that if there's a logo, what we need to do is print a link which refers to the base path. The base path will just be your home page. Um, and I've also given it a title, so if you hover over it, it'll say click to return to the home page. I've also put in image source and I refer to logo. Okay, now this variable will pick up a logo.png file, which I'm going to store in the root folder of my theme. Um, and just some alt text as well there. So what I'll do is I'll copy and paste that with the comment. And that's going to go between the logo div. The reason I've created a logo div around this is because then I can just control where that div sits in the context of the rest of the page. Now the next thing we need to do is print out our main navigation. Now that too is listed in here. So I'm going to scroll down just to here. Okay, so you can see that I've actually got the opening nav tag there, the closing nav tag, and I've actually created a div around the PHP script as well. So I'm going to copy that and paste that within there. So because I've copied and pasted, I actually need to go through this and change my quotation marks. Okay, now you can see that I've actually corrected this, so all my quotation marks are the right way around. Um, and this script is basically just going to read the default menu items that I'm going to create and insert them into this section here within the div ID main menu which sits within the nav. Once that's done, we're just going to add a few more scripts in. Okay, now having a look at this handout, I actually want to copy a few more things. So breadcrumb trail, I do definitely want that. And that is going to go in my article, so where the main content appears. I want it to appear before the content does, so I'll paste it at the top. So remember to put these all in the sequential order and it will appear in the order that you paste them in. I also want to display the title of the page, so I'm going to copy that. And I want the title to appear after the breadcrumbs, so I've put it underneath the breadcrumbs. Now, just going to explain this to you quickly. Basically, this is printing um, a title suffix and a prefix. Um, and it's saying that if you have a title, print it between these two H1 tags. Okay, now you can change those if you want. I'm not going to leave it the same. You can always customize your H1 tags in your CSS. Now, tabs as well, we do need these. These are the tabs which enable you to actually modify content on your page, just edit, delete, etc. So definitely put those in. Other things that we need are messages. So if Drupal needs to tell us something, definitely want it to display those messages before the content. Okay, so if it's telling me that the cache has been cleared, etc. Now there's one more thing I want to copy from here. It's the actual PHP script to display my social feed icons. So I'm going to copy that and I actually want to display it underneath the slideshow. So I do need to create a new div ID for it. So I've got div ID social and I've pasted that social one within that div. Now because I haven't actually referred to it in my info sheet, I'm going to jump back to my info sheet and just underneath slideshow, I'm going to just copy, paste and change this here to social. Okay. Now I've referred to all of these in my page TPL. It's important that if you're creating or referring to a variable here, you have to actually create the region here as well. Okay, so this is all we really need for our page.tpl.php. I'm going to go back to my Drupal site, click on appearance, scroll down to Petrapo, and I'm going to click on enable and set default. Now just remember we haven't actually got a style sheet linked up to this at the moment. Um, so it might look like a mess. As you can see, it has no formatting. So it's just basically picked up the default styles, um, which are none, and applied those. But it is showing up in the order in which I put the elements. So I've got my logo, my menu, I've got search bar, navigation here, content and footer. So it is coming in the correct order, which is a good sign. But we need to create a style sheet to control the way that this looks. Now, the first thing you'd actually want to do is go into your info file and we're going to put in a comment here and just say CSS and underneath that you need to write style sheets all now I'm using those square brackets equals and you need to define the path for your CSS now I'm just going to show you here the path we're going to be using is assets forward slash CSS forward slash and I'm going to name my style sheet as styles.css so I'm going to copy that and paste that in there. Now when I create my styles.css I need to make sure I save it in that location. So once you've done that, save it, create a new CSS and customize 
those regions that you've just created. So what I've done is I've just basically mocked up a really basic style sheet just so I can put things into perspective. Now I've got a header up here, the logo is showing up, the content area is showing up um, and the footer. I do have a navigation showing up here and up here. Now the one that shows up here is the correct main menu one. The one showing up here is just the user navigation and I actually don't want that to be appearing here at all. Now what we need to do to get rid of bits of information showing up on your site that you don't want there is go to structure, blocks, and you can see we've got header, slideshow, these are the different regions we created in our info sheet. Inside each region we've got a block of information. Now what we need to do is go up to our slideshow area, you can see you've got navigation, search form, user login showing up there. I actually don't want the search for, uh, form showing up at all and I don't want the navigation showing up. The user login can show up in the main content area. Okay, um, And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to click on that, go save block. There we go, that tidies up the site a bit more. And that's a really basic website. So I've got my footer there, navigation area, um, logos showing up. So as you can see, our custom theme is coming through. It just needs a bit of work um, when it comes to stylizing it. Once you've stylized it, you can continue on with the other tutorials.